Okay, I said before, everything is quantum mechanical, but some things are more quantum mechanical than others. If you look at things like sensing and communication, or making atomic clocks, right? So the world's most accurate clock, in fact, the world's most accurate measurement device is Dave Weinland's quantum logic mm -hmm. atomic clock at the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, in Boulder. And it operates by using entanglement mm -hmm. between, new, between electron spins and between electronic states, the states of atoms. It exchanges it back and forth, and so it can build an atomic clock that you know that would, would lose a tiny fraction of a second in the age of the universe. It's by, you know, it was when they built it, it was by, it was, it was again, 100,000 times more precise and accurate than the previous atomic clocks. And this is actually just using these funky quantum effects like entanglement. And that kind of stuff makes GPS work better, or makes everything work better, to have that extra level of capability, right? Yeah, well, I mean, actually, it's so accurate. In fact, it's, it's you know, atomic clocks are extremely important for things like GPS. You couldn't have GPS without atomic clocks because you need to measure the timing of signals that are going from satellites to you to within um, a billionth of a second. A billionth of a second is light travels about that distance in a billionth of a second, a third of a meter. And, um, and so to measure your distance to this kind of accuracy, you need to have clocks that can measure out time to a billionth of a second, and those are atomic clocks. Mm -hmm. Now, these, these, uh, these optical frequency atomic clocks, this quantum logic atomic clocks, measures out time to within an accuracy of a femtosecond. So a billionth of a second is 10 to the minus ninth second. Mm -hmm. Now these are 10 to the minus 15 seconds, so they're a million times more accurate. Mm -hmm. So that you could actually measure you know, your distance to within a micron or something like that a millionth of a meter. Um, actually, they're so accurate that it's kind of a problem because they, they can detect one of the most faintest, faintest signals of general relativity is the gravitational redshift, which says that if a clock's in a gravitational field, it will slow down. And so if they raise the clock up by this much, it will detect the fact that the gravitational field of the Earth is very slightly less strong at this level than it is at that level.